hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is Jason this is a hypnosis session just for you and this is sponsored by hypnosis mp3 store.com a place where you can instantly download hundreds of my hypnosis sessions as mp3s so this session is going to be a bit different from some of my other stuff that I've done so I'd like you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so I'm just going to ask you to just get in touch with how you physically feel and I've talked in the past about you know dropping your mask taking off your mask taking off you know, the persona, the facade that we all put on for, you know, other people. Maybe at work, maybe at home. Maybe even with friends and family. Maybe even with ourselves. So this session is going to be along the same lines as that. along the same lines as dropping all pretense just for a few minutes dropping all pretense in other words stop pretending just for a short period of time Stop pretending. And this could be just stop pretending, and you could just fill in the rest of it. Stop pretending to be angry. Stop pretending to be upset. Stop pretending to be anxious. Stop pretending to be stressed. Stop pretending that this thing that's been on your mind is the most important thing in the world. Stop pretending. Now, what is it that you, this very second, can stop pretending? to do that's a question isn't it is it a question that you can easily answer now what can you stop pretending to do and you may wonder what does he mean Stop pretending. I'm not pretending to be angry. Well, to a degree, yes you are. Because keeping anger going, if you keep it going, it takes energy. It takes work. It takes pretending. You have to pretend. You have to work your way up to it. Have you ever seen somebody have an argument and they laugh? They hear something funny, they laugh, and then they get angry again. Because they're pretending to be angry. It's not real. It's just a bunch of emotions, a bunch of feelings. So what is it that you're pretending to do? 
that you have been pretending that it's real, pretending that you have no choice. I must do it. I'm a victim. I must be this way. I must act this way. I must think this way. I must behave this way. Really? Is that really true? Honestly, take away the pretense, drop the pretending. Is it really true? Do you really have so little self-control that you can't help but do things? You have to. Or are you just pretending? And I realised that this might be kind of annoying to some people. It might even make you laugh when I just said that. You might find yourself being wound up, getting annoyed at me, getting angry. How dare he say that I'm pretending to be angry? How dare he say that I can control myself? That I'm an adult? That I had that I can know my own mind how dare he say that I have self control how dare he say that I'm not just a victim to circumstances and all I can do is just react what you mean you mean that you do have control because by believing and accepting that you do actually have control more control than you ever realised and by control I don't mean forcing yourself to do, to do something that feels unnatural that's not what I mean at all I'm not talking about willpower forcing yourself to finish the last mile of a marathon I'm not talking about something like that Although there is a lot of power in that, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about getting in touch with nature. Getting in touch with your nature, with your reality, with the fact. Instead of the fiction that we make up for ourselves. Pretending. Fixing ourselves as fixed entities. I'm always this. I'm always that. I have red hair, therefore I must have a short temper. Or, I'm short, therefore I must be this. Or, I'm, st I'm big, therefore I must be this. You know? It's just an idea. Just an idea doesn't mean anything and we've been brought up to believe these lies and these misconceptions and fairy tales that we have a fixed way of being I must be like this because of this I'm like this my mum was like this or my dad was like this therefore I must be like this no that's not true. So how do you move away from that? You move away by admitting and accepting. And stop pretending. Because it's not real. This idea that you're this victim. And you must act a certain way. I must be like this. I have no choice. You do. You have lots of choices. You have millions of choices about what you do next. And none of them need be dependent on having a fixed idea about yourself. You can be yourself. And have fun discovering who you are. Because you can be whoever you want to be. Because after all, it's all pretend. <laughs>